Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we're about to solve is the one that you will find on page number. 225. Please turn to it. Page 225 and today is our lesson number 311. The problem that you see on page number 225 on the very top of the page there 2.3.1 on page 225 is the exact same problem that appeared in the first edition of the revised GRE. We have already solved all the problems from this book. If you're interested in watching the original solution you will find the original solution to the problem on day number 96. Today Right now we can redo it, but at a little bit of a faster pace. But if you need to go at a slower pace, if you need uh, more more detailed help uh, with every single step, then of course you're more than welcome to watch the original one. So here we go. 11, 11 x minus 4 minus 8 x, we are told, equals 2 times x plus 4 minus 2 x. Let's see what we can do. The very first thing we need to do here is to open the parentheses here. 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 4 is 8 and then minus 2x. So that makes our life simple. We got a positive 2x and a negative 2x. This is a positive 2x and negative 2x that drop out here and here we have 11x and a negative 8x. Positive 11x and a negative 8x gives us 3x minus 4 equals 8. Let's add 8 to both sides, uh, 4 to both sides rather. That takes care of this 4 and 3x equals 12. If 3x equals 12, if we divide both sides by 3, we'll get our x by itself and x equals 4. That's all. Let's move on then. That was very straightforward, very simple. Let's move on then. What we want to do now is the problem that you see at the bottom of the page which has to do with simultaneous equation. That problem doesn't have a number on it. But that's, that's the next thing we want to do. But this is it. This was very simple. The next one we're going to do is something that we did on day number 97 on the same page on the bottom of the page. Simultaneous equations. And the two equations that are given there at the bottom of the page are 4x plus 3y equals 13 and x minus 2y we are told equals 2. Why are they called simultaneous equations? They are called simultaneous equations because just allow me, just excuse me, just for one second. I'm going to get out of the camera for one second. They're called simultaneous equations because whatever value that we're going to claim for the variable x and the variable y, listen carefully, they're called simultaneous equations. These, these equations are called simultaneous equations because whatever value that we can claim for the variable x and for the variable y, those values of the variables have to satisfy both the equations at the same time, simultaneously. So here we go. Here is our equation 1 and equation 2. There are a couple of methods that we can use here. One is, called, one is the, where we find make the coefficient of the, of the, of the given variable the same. That's one method where we make the coefficient of a given variable the same. Another method is called substitution methods. Let's do the first method first here. Now, if you if you try to make the coefficient of y same for both of the variables, then the way we can convert this thing is to multiply 3 by 2. But if you multiply 3 by 2, we get 6. And then we're going to have to multiply 2 by 3 to get a 6 here. In other words, we'll end up multiplying this equation and this equation by different number. We'll have to end up multiplying the first equation by 2. We're going to have to multiply the second equation by 3. We're going to have to do twice the work. 
instead of doing twice the work, let's just multiply the second equation by 4. If we multiply the second equation by 4, then we'll end up with a 4x here, and we can subtract one from the other and get rid of the x. So here's our equation, equation number 2 times 4. Equation number 2 times 4 means 4x, 4x times 4 is 4x, negative 2 times 4 is going to be negative 8y, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that's our equation 2 times 4. And then we have our equation 1. And equation 1 is just going to come the way it is. 4x plus 3y equals 13. 4x plus 3y equals 13. This has the positive coefficient, this has the positive coefficient. We cannot obviously add the two equations. If we add the two equations, we're going to end up with 8x. We have to subtract the second equation from the first equation. Now, if you're going to subtract one equation from another equation, the very first thing we should do before we forget it and before we mess it, mess it up, because if we don't do that right away, there is a chance that you might forget to take care of one of the variables or one of the, uh, or the constant or something immediately. Take every single one of them and change their sign, switch their sign, because that's what it means to subtract. Whatever, whatever, if it's positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. For example, for example, 5 minus a positive 3, if you can subtract positive 3 from 5, then this positive 3 at times negative becomes negative 3. On the other hand, 8 minus a negative 4, well, this negative will become positive. Negative times negative is positive. It becomes positive. You see, it switches the sign. If it were ne if it was negative, it becomes positive. If positive, becomes negative. Same thing here. This positive will become negative. This positive will become negative. This positive will become negative. So now we have 4x minus 4x. It drops out. Here we have negative 8y and a negative 3y. Pay attention. Negative 8y and a negative 3y gives us negative 11y. And here we end up with 8 8 minus a, minus a 13. 8 minus 13, 8 minus 13 is negative 5. This is a very strange answer we're getting here. I hope I'm, I'm not making any mistake here. Why? Something has gone wrong. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Equation 1, equation 2, equation 2 times 4. 4x minus 8y, 4x minus 8y equals 8. What was the second equation? Oh, this is this is a plus. This is a plus here. The second equation was x plus 2y. The second equation was x plus 2y. I did not write it. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't write it correctly. The second equation is x plus 2y. So if you multiply positive 2 times 4, it becomes positive 8. So we have a positive 8 and a negative 5, a negative 3. We have a positive 8, positive 8, and a negative 3. Positive 8 and a negative 3 is going to give us positive 8, and a negative 3 is going to give us positive 5. So positive 5y equals negative 5. You divide both sides by 5. And the 5 will drop out and y becomes negative 1. y equals to negative 1. Once we find the value of y, once we have found the value of one of the variables, all we have to do is put it back in one of the equations and solve for the second variable. So let's do it here. So let's substitute. Let's substitute the value of y in equation which equation? Now we can substitute the value of y in either of these two equations, either the first equation or second equation, and solve for the value of x. Now ask yourself, where will we end up doing more work if you, if you put the value of y in the first equation or second equation? Where will we end up doing more work? We'll end up doing a hell of a lot more work if you were to substitute the value of y in the first equation, because first equation you get a 4, a 3, a 13, it's a little bit more, it's not a lot of complicated, but why should we? Why should we have to spend five extra seconds if we don't have to? Second equation is most uh, more simple. So let's put it in here in equation two. So let's substitute the value of y in equation two. Equation two is this part right here. 
x plus 2y equals 2 x plus y we know is negative 1 so it's 2 times negative 1 equals 2 which gives us x minus 2 equals 2 add 2 to both sides and this 2 drops out and x equals positive 4 I think I should retard this marker this marker is dying it doesn't have much, much left in it much life left in it that was it that was it now other method that we could have used is called the substitution method which, substitution method, which I'm not going to do it here if you're interested in watching the substitution method you can watch the original day, day number 97 where, we, where I have done both methods substitution method and this method Substitu substitution method is where you solve for one variable and you put it back in, in the other equ second equation and solve for, for the other variable and like I said if you're interested in watching the sub substitution method you can watch day 97 and you will see it there okay i'll see you tomorrow okay bye now